In this presentation, we will process payroll with a 401k employer matching portion and compare it to the prior payroll where we had a 401k but did not have the employer matching with it. Within QuickBooks Online. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. Here we are in our S Corp paid payroll file. We're going to go down to the workers tab and we're first going to add to our one employee, our one worker, the 401k matching. So now we're going to say, hey, Anthony, we not only have the 401k, but we're going to have a matching. In other words, us, the employer, are going to match part of the benefits that you put in to your 401k. So you're going to take some out of the check, put it into the 401k for yourself, whatever you do that with we will match it in some way so anthony says that's great i was putting money in there anyways so we're going to go into the settings to set this up and then process the payroll we're going to say the pay area with this pencil and then scroll down to the information we're going to go back into number three does anthony have any deductions and we're going to adjust the one that we put in last time we've already set up the 401k plan if you can take a look at a prior presentation for that process. Basically, we would add the new item and enter the 401k. So we're going to adjust our 401k now to add the matching. So here was what we had last time. We have the employee deduction. This is what's going to be taken out of the employee check. We said it's going to be a straight 5%. So whatever the wages are for the employee, where they're going to take that gross pay and remove 5%. That's what the employee pays. Now we want to say, well, what if the employer wants to match some of that? In other words, pay over and above the gross pay earned by the employee. We can then choose that amount over here. So, so we have then a dollar amount or a percentage. And we're going to choose the percentage, but be careful with the percentage. It's not a percentage of what was taken out by the employee. It's a percentage of gross pay. So we'll select the percentage of gross pay. And then note, as we enter the percent, we're not taking a percent of what was paid by the employee. We're taking a percent of gross pay. In other words, if we're saying that the employee is going to pay 5% and we want the employer to pay 50% of what the employee put in, then we would have to take half of the 5% because it's going to be based on the gross pay. Both of these are based on the gross pay. So I want the, the employee to put in 5% and the uh, employer to match whatever the employee put in by matching 50% of what the employee put in. So that's just going to be what we're going to say is the terms of the 401k. And that would be 2.5 of the gross pay. In other words, you could think about it this way. If we had $1,000 of gross pay times 0.05, this is what the employee is going to take out of the check and put in there. We want the employer to then match it at 50% of whatever the employee put in, which would be $25, half of that. So we could say that's going to be half of this or 50% of this. But the way it's going to calculate that $25 is going to be the $1,000 times 0.025. And that's how we'll get to the 25%. So just be careful with the gross pay calculation if you use the percentage. We're not going to put a max in here. We're going to leave it as is and process the payroll. So we will then say OK down at the bottom and done. Now we're looking to process the payroll. I'm going to go back up top. You'll see this little blue icon back to the employee list. You can go back to the employee list and then we're back to our normal screen. You can also go back if you, if you just ch change tabs by going to the view tab and then going back, you can pay employees here with the shortcuts, but I'm going to go back to the employee tab and then run payroll. I typically like to see that nice green run payroll. So I'm going to select that item. And then we'll process the payroll. This is the third, third payroll that we have. March is payroll. So we're doing it monthly. So we did January, February. Now we're adding March. So March 1st through the 31st. We're going to say the pay date is on uh, the end of the month. So we're going to say it's at the 31st. So 03-31-19 is the pay date we'll have. Then we'll enter the hours. So it's $25. The hours are going to be the same. So 161, this is just going to be the same as the prior month. This is for an entire month. And then the one hour. So we'll see the same payroll. That's going to calculate at 4025 This is all we need to do to process the payroll. But when if we want to see the detail, then we can choose this pencil right here. This is the gross pay that is being shown. If we choose the pencil, it's being calculated by the 161 times 25 for the 4025 the one times the 37.5 for the 37.5 for a total 
4,062.50. This is the same as the prior payroll where we had no matching and the prior payroll before that, before we had any 401k. So the gross pay does not change. If we go to the employee taxes, then this is what's being pulled out of the check for the employee. We have the federal income tax, 147.60. This amount of withholding should not change based on the employer contribution, which we added. It does change on based on the employee contribution, which we did last time. So, and that's the point of an employee putting money in. One is to get the matching. So that's a huge benefit. But even if there was no matching, it's still a big benefit because the employee gets to lower or at least defer their taxes. And that's done by lowering the federal income tax primarily. And as you lower the federal income tax, then the amount of withholdings that you ha should have should be decreased as well. And then we have the Social Security and Medicare. Those should remain the same. They're based on gross pay. And then the uh, California taxes, which we won't get into at this time. So we're not going to concentrate on the California taxes. The employee deductions. So if we select the employee deductions, we have the 401k. This is not what we added. This is what we added last time with the employee portion, the, the amount that the employee is going to be putting into place, which we said was that 5%. So it's taking the gross pay... The gross pay here, which is the 4,062.50 times 0 0.05 or 5%, 203, and that's what we have there. Then we're going to go down to the employer taxes. So the employer taxes, these are the taxes that are being paid over and above the gross pay. FUTA, you'll notice, now goes down to zero. That has nothing to do with the 401k that we've added. It's just a coincidence. <laughs> it went down to zero because we hit the cap of 7,000. And that's kind of the confusing thing about FUTA uh, taxes because it's an employer tax, which means you probably haven't heard of it as much as the other taxes which come out of the payroll. And it only usually is there for the first quarter for most employees if they're there the whole year because the cap of 7000 once hit will no longer result in a FUTA tax that will be an employer tax. So it'll go away typically unless we get a new employee or until the end of the year. And then in January, it'll pop up again. So you want to be careful when you go from year to year because FUTA will change. Then we have the Social Security and Medicare. These are over and above or different or matching the Social Security and Medicare we saw on the employee side. And then the California taxes, which once again, we're not going to concentrate on here. Then we have the company paid contributions. This is what we added. This is the new thing, 101.56. Note it's half of the 203.13. So you could say 203.13 divided by 2 or 50% of it, but it's actually calculated in the system based on the gross pay. So the gross pay being the 4062.5 times 0 0.025, 2.5%. 2 that gives us the 101.56, uh, which is, of course, half of the 203.13 divided by 2. And that's what we wanted it to be. So we're going to scroll back down and say, that looks good. This is not being pulled out of the employee check. This is what the employer is paying over and above into the 401k plan, uh, which is probably investments for the employee. So we are then going to say, okay, this looks good. We'll check our numbers. It's coming out of the checking account. Third payroll period is being paid at the same date as the end of the time period. We have our one employee. It looks good. We're then going to uh, preview the payroll. And so the payroll is previewed here. We see that total pay and we see the deductions to see the net pay. So this is an overview basically of the employee side. It's not giving us the uh, employer taxes for that. We'd have to see the detail once again, which we could do with the pencil. And then we're going to submit the payroll. I think the check number we are on is 1003. So we'll keep it at 1003. I'm going to close this item. And then we're going to look at the print pay stubs. So the print pay stubs, remember we have to provide the pay stub whether we print the paychecks or not. And that'll give us the detail that the employee will see. So same detail we looked at before, but in a payroll stub type format, only the employee side, however. We don't see the employer information. We don't see the employer taxes. That's why most people are most familiar only with payroll taxes on the employee side. The summary down here of the check, here's the check that got received. There's the net check, 3,350.51. So here's how it's calculated, 3,350.51. Total pay, 4,062.50. That should be the same as the prior checks. 
and then we had the taxes and the deductions removed from it. The taxes that are removed are on this side, federal income tax, Social Security, Medicare, and then the California taxes. And then we have uh, the deductions that were taken out of the paycheck, which is going to be the 401k, this being the employee per portion, the 40313. This is what was taken out of the paycheck by the employee. It's what was paid, in essence, by the employee, not the matching of the employer side. And that's because the employer matching portion is not affecting the net pay. It's being paid over and above the, the total gross pay. So it's not being affected or part of the calculation to get to this net pay. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.